Hi guys, today I'll be showing you 8 must-have tweaks for jailbroken iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R users. Again, these tweaks are specifically for Face ID enabled devices. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first tweak is called Auto Unlock X. What this tweak does is that it allows you to bypass the swipe to go to home screen after unlocking your iPhone with the Face ID. If I disable this tweak, so you see, it unlocked your iPhone, but it still asks you to swipe up to go to home screen. And to me, this is kind of annoying when I have to use my finger to swipe up on the screen to go to home screen. And that really defeats the purpose of using your face to scan. But with Auto Unlock X, it will help you to automatically get into the home screen without swiping up. So if we go back to settings, go to tweaks, and Auto Unlock X. If I turn this on, respring it. Now you can see. I didn't touch anything. When it sees my face, it automatically unlock the device and go directly into home screen without me having to swipe up. That is really cool. I'm not sure about you, but to me, this is a great tweak that I must have. I hate having to use my finger to do that, to swipe up and then to go to home screen. It's terrible. But again, with Auto Unlock X, that worry is gone. That's tweak number one. Let's move on to tweak number two. Tweak number two is called CC on and off. This tweak is the same like a real CC, which is used to completely turn off your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi toggles from the control center widgets. Here, the control center widgets. If you want to turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you click it here, it will not turn off. It just only disable these two features, not being able to connect to any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi router. But it's still on, which means it will consume your battery. And that's annoying. But with this tweak, CC on and off. If you go to the tweak section here, you don't see its settings. It's installed, but you don't see it here. It just work. So again, you can see this sign for my Wi-Fi if I turn it back on. You wait for it, it will connect to my Wi-Fi. If I turn it off, you see this sign, it will be completely off if you go to settings. And you go to Wi-Fi, you say off. Same thing in Bluetooth. Settings, it's off. So this is CC on and off. Let's move on to tweak number three. Tweak number three is called Reprovision. This tweak has the app on your iPhone screen right here. So with this tweak, it tells you exactly when which app will be revoked or expired so that you can re-sign it before it expires. If you open this app, you can see it says recently signed Chimera jailbreak tool here. I have 5 day and 21 hours left. It tells you exactly how much time you have left before you re-sign it to use this app or tweak again. As you know that apps that you install through Safari browser or CD Impactor, you can only use them for 7 days. After that, it will be revoked. This means that you have to reinstall it after 7 days of usage every time. This is really annoying and very discouraging for some people. However, with reprovision tweak here, you don't have to do that anymore because it will allow you to see how many days left for those apps and let you re-sign it easily without having to delete the app and reinstall it. So usually if this app has been expired, you have to delete it and then reinstall it. That's like a pain in the ass. But with this, let's say now it has been expired. So when you install this tweak for the first time and you open it, it will ask you to sign in with your Apple ID and password. Basically, any apps that you install through CD Impactor that you use your Apple ID and password, you type that ID and password in, it will show you what are the apps that use that particular Apple ID and password. Like this one, I use that Apple ID and password. It showed me here and it showed me the day, how many days left. 
Let's say this one has been expired. I want to re-sign it. I just click on sign here and just wait for it. And done, this is success. And now it changed from five days to six days, 23 hours. You just continue using this app. You don't have to delete it and reinstall it. That's reprovision. Again, all the links to these tweaks are in the description. You can check them out. Okay, let's move on to the next tweak. Tweak number four is called Swipe Selection X. I think some of you have heard this tweak before. It's very useful, not just iPhone with Face ID, but also iPhones with Touch ID as well. Again, this one doesn't have configurations or settings for you to change. After you install it, you can use it. Let me show you an example here. Let's say I type something, right? And I make a mistake. Usually, without this tweak, you have to force touch the screen to go back and forth like that. So by forcing touch, it's very inconvenient to use. I mean, forcing like that to go back and forth, really annoying to me. But with this, you don't have to force touch anymore. You just do that. Any row here on the keyboard, it work. It just works. So you can change any part of the text or any words that you want to change. If you want to select any part of the text, just go there and press on this button and select like that. It's really cool. So that swipe selection X. Let's move on to tweak number five. Tweak number five is called toggle. As you may know, it comes from the word toggle plus glow. This means that this tweak is for your connectivity toggles. Whenever you turn any of the connectivity toggles on, it will glow. Again, you have to go to control center right here. You can see my cellular connectivity here, the green one. It's kind of glowing. Again, if I turn this on as well, see Bluetooth, it's glowing as well. With this, see it has a different look. The whole thing is blue or green. It's not like only the so-called part here. If you look at this, only the so-called part around it is blue or green. That's look really interesting and it's glowing. These are connectivity toggles. It will glow when you turn each of them on. That's tweak number five. Let's move on to tweak number six. Tweak number six is called shuffle. Again, if you go to settings, tweaks, you see shuffle here. So with this tweak, your settings app will be reorganized to have a better and cleaner look for easy access. And what's even cooler is that with this tweak, you are able to force touch in the settings app to have a sneak peek of what's inside each setting before going into it. Now you look at the settings here, if you compare side by side with my iPhone 8 Plus, it's kind of difficult to hold two phones. So you look at these two, starting from the top. So this one, they push down, they reorganize it. They have tweaks here, apps, system apps. Again, like I said, you can force touch like this. Force touch to have a sneak peek of what's inside. You can force touch any of them. Apps here, they reorganize it in one place. System apps. Again, you can also force touch it like that. But for this one, you cannot force touch. Nothing happened. Even this, you can force touch. That's shuffle. Again, they reorganize it in a very simple and easy way for you to access. You can see this side, it has a very long list. It keep going and going. But this one, it has been reorganized. Very easy to access. So that is shuffle. Okay, let's move on to tweak number seven. Tweak number seven is called power module. With this tweak, it gives you the pack of power related toggles like respring, reboot, power down, lock screen, save mode, and UI catch refresh directly on the control center toggles. Here, the one I showed you earlier, this part here. So with the normal control center toggles, you will not see this. This is a new one. And how do you get that? This is called power module. Again, if you go to settings, tweaks, 
here power module by default all of these has been turned off for confirmation i just turned them on because i want to make sure that if i accidentally touch it if it asks me to verify first before respring it or reboot it so to be able to have it here you need to add it by default you will not see it yet after you install it from cd or cilio so you have to go to control center customize controls by default it's like this again you have to go here like i've shown you earlier you scroll down you see the word power module you add that to the list if you swipe down you will see it here and again if you want to move it up there just go to settings control center customize controls and just tap here move it up there done now you have it here if you look at it you can respring you can also refresh ui catch or go to safe mode or reboot your device or power down or lock your screen as well that is power module okay let's move on to the last tweak of the list today this is one of the most important tweaks for your iphone 10 10s 10s max and 10r it's called bioprotect i think some of you have already known this tweak it's still very useful especially for face id enabled devices Apple should have given us the ability to lock any app or setting so that no one can access them to reveal our privacy. But they choose not to give us this ability just yet. However, with BioProtect, you are able to lock any app or setting and then are able to unlock those apps or settings easily. And what would be a better way to unlock those apps or features than using your face? It is instant and convenient. With Touch ID devices, it works great too. It brings the unlocking experience to the next level. So let me show you what I mean here. Again, if we go to settings here, go to tweaks, and you can see BioProtect. And make sure you download BioProtect Access. This tweak is about $3. And as I remember, this tweak, you can only use it once for one device ios app in the app store that you you just buy it once you can use on any of your devices but with this tweak you can only use it one time for one device if you want to use it on another device you can transfer this to another device and this one will not be able to use it but again with this if you enable it they have lots of features you can check them out applications folders settings panes control centers and so on so apps like photos or bank app here or some private app like messages or other apps that usually consider private to you but when your friend borrow your phone they may somehow want to check it out while you're not looking at it and they will see what's inside so with this if i try to open the photo app see it sees my face that's why it automatically unlocked let me put app like this try again so you can see there it does not detect my face yet so when it sees my face it just open it again with any app like this one so all of these apps that very private to you you want to just protect it this is a great way of doing that and this is a great tweak as well if you use your finger like this I mean, let's say you want to unlock. This one is not jailbroken, but let's say you want to open an app and when it asks you to scan, you have to use your finger to scan. It will take time. It's not very instant. Like I said, it works great with Touch ID device as well, but Face ID is much better in terms of instant unlocking. Any of them, when it detects your face, it just automatically unlocks any of the apps or features quick convenient okay that's it guys these are eight must-have tweaks for jailbroken iphone 10 10 s 10 s max and 10 or thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video